are lots of different reasons why people become homeless, you know? A relationship right down my partner. Girlfriends split up. That's how I've ended up homeless. Most people are homeless because they have nervous breakdowns or they have rows for the family. I was living in a house um, that, uh, where a friend died and um, I got 18 months out of it after she died and uh, they took, basically took me to court and got me out. That was Islington Council. Oh, ex-wife, um, you know, depression. I, I went abroad and I try, uh, when I came back, the council said I owed some money and they, you know, they locked my place off and destroyed all my things. So I had no place to, to you know, go back to. I just find myself homeless. Basically, I've been um, on and off the streets for years. You know, nervous breakdown, depression. People, you know, it's gone through certain depressions in life, and uh, just, you know, it's got to them. Yeah. Well, I've been I've been homeless for about 22 years uh, after my family died up in Scotland. The council said they have no homes. They, they haven't got enough home to give to people. I've waited for two and a half years. Some people have waited for three years. The council were trying to sort something out where a, a homeless unit called the Passage Day Centre to see if they can get me somewhere. I mean, I've been in London for over 30 years and yet I can't get any help. You know, so, I mean, if they're not going to help, I mean, I, I'm, I'm basically a London resident and yet I've, I've been made homeless through the system. Like some of the places where they want to, uh, you um, to go, it's not, it's not the best places. Some of these also are quite rough. There's a lot of, I've been in a couple of hostels and I've got, there is a lot, I've seen a lot of, you know, people sure on drugs in that hostel. It comes like a prison time in them hostel. You know what I mean? Why, why are you people saying about it? Because yeah, it's, you know, it's getting like people trying to bully and want to know when people get paid. I lived in lock, uh, lock, in, lock up covers. I lived in, um, I lived in, in uh, you know, in, in shops. Bus stops, uh, alleyways. During the cold, you, you feel so cold. When I was pregnant, we were on the street. We were sleeping in doorways and in uh, all under in Allgate underpass. And uh, uh, the homeless team, Thames Reach, they argued with um, social services that even though I'm not entitled to housing or benefits, that they couldn't leave a female homeless on the streets while she's pregnant. Then when you end up on the streets, you can't get a job because you've got no accommodation. Why can't you get a job? Because I'm on the sick and I, I suffer from schizophrenia. Uh -huh. so and I'm on DLA and everything. So they won't give you a job because of that? No. I'm a grown woman. Why? I don't want to bother my family to help me. They, they don't. They're, they're next to useless. They, they're a funny mob, his family. My family are more helpful, but they're halfway around the world. What about your family? Yeah, they're right. Do they know your situation? Yes and no, but I don't really tell them everything, you know. Well, yeah, I've got family, but I don't want them to know my, uh, my situation. Why not? Well, it'd be embarrassing for them. I've lost all contact with my family, so I won't know where I'm No family, no brothers, no sisters. I got beaten up the other night, look at my finger. I've been spat on, I've had beer poured all over me. Yeah, I've got... That was from... I got, um... I was in the doorway on Oxford Street, somebody threw a paving slab. Uh -huh. Um, shattered my shin there. And all the way through there, that was... Let's say from a pavement slab, I was lucky that I actually managed to curl up into a ball at the time. If I hadn't, it might have caused me a lot more damage. I have been, you know, pushed. I've been threatened with violence. I've got a chunk missing out of my arm here. Got into a fight on Oxford Street and the geezer literally bit, as you can see from the teeth mark, 
bitch and come home. What happens to me mainly from other issue vendors or beggars, they, I get the men stand over. If you're a female, they'll stand over you, just take your pitch and there's nothing you can do about that. It was four to one. That's how it happened. It never happens one to one. It's always four to one or three to one. Why did they beat you up? Because I, I had a different bag to this. I had a, a hodl and I, inside I had a digi box. A 30 pound digi box, what you put on top of a TV set. They wanted it. They didn't get it. I find that most of the violence comes from um, blockheads that aren't homeless. They've got a job, they've got a home. Basically, um, it was on a weekend. Sorry. Yeah, it was on a weekend. On a Friday night, people had been out, had a drink, and they thought, let's take it out on this lot. A few months back I contracted TB and like, a lot of homeless people thought that TB was abolished. It was like non-existent but it's not. TB is here and it's here, especially within the homeless population at the moment and it's here in a big way. So people do need to know about it. Get benefits, don't get a lot like, you know. It's it's not, it's not much to live on while you're on the street. I'm on benefits and everything at the moment, and I basically just survive off my script. Just try to survive, but I get on a big issue. You can't beg because it's a fence to beg anyway. Yeah. So you can't win it unless you <laughs> get on the issue. If you get caught for begging, you get took caught, then you get fined, and then you can't pay the fine because you ain't got the money to pay it. I might be a heroin addict, but I have never ever funded my habit by crime. Won't rob somebody, I beg. That's why I've got. An, that's why I keep going to prison. I've got an antisocial behaviour order against me that prohibits me not to beg anywhere other than England and Wales. But at the end of the day, there's a lot more worse people out there than me. I never ask people for money. I just sit there. I won't steal. I won't lie for it. I don't do that. Um, you, I've begged and sold big issue. Um, I've sold drugs. I'm over 60. I want pension credit. Um, I'm 61 last year. And what do you do for food? Where do you go? Or? Uh, we've got handouts come. We get get food uh, at night time sometimes, not all the time, maybe three, four times a week. He's he's at um, Whitechapel with some friends. He's doing big issue over that way. Is that way if we split up and sell it in separate areas, then if one of us has a bad day, hopefully the other one does all right. So. Because we live on one gyro between us, but his gyro and it doesn't really go very far. I was a hard drug user for a long time. I was a heroin user for 20 years. Yep, yep, I'm methadone. Do you drink? I like a drink. I ended up using street drugs, heroin and crack. And basically, I've been in and out. It's either been in prison or been in that hostel accommodation. I'm on a methadone script at the moment. I used to drink. I don't drink no more. I'm a professional. I'm not. I'm not a drug addict. I've never taken drug or alcohol in my life. People will be homeless, but they're not mentally disturbed. They're not drug dealers. They're not drug, uh, uh, you know, drug takers. That they're, they're not alcoholic, you know. But people generate it and you know knock them out. They don't look at people, you know, or to see what people are. They just give them, you know, wrong assumption. People should change that, that type of attitude. There's empty buildings in London. Those empty buildings in London that could be opened up and used use as temporary accommodation to get them off the street. Basically, all these empty properties, they can basically do something with them instead of just leaving them go a like, waste. You know, there's a lot of properties in London aren't just going to waste. That's what I suggest to, to you know, for the council to re refurbish a lot of homes and make it uh, livable for people to go and live instead of people living in the hostels and sleeping on the street. Try your best to, to you know, to, to help just make them see senses. Thank you.